Mr. Smith invested $2,500. So his starting investment, which is a key number in these kind of problems, is $2,500. And he earns 3% interest compounded annually. So that means each year he gets um, 3% on top of what he had before. So our growth, right, because the, the value of the money is growing, it's called the growth factor, is equal to what? Well, really, what you can do quickly to do this is you take 1 and add the decimal of your percent. So 0.03 is 3%, and your growth factor is 1.03. So what is happening here is all is you're, you're, you're getting this number because when you add 3%, to what you originally have, you're adding 3% to 1 or 100%. In other words, you get 103% of what you started with. And you can calculate this with, with a simple value to convince yourself that this is true. If you have $100 and I say add 3% to that, you would add $3, right? 3% of 100 is $3. But put this together and you have 103. So originally you had 100, now you have 103 or 103. Um, is representing 103 out of 100, or 103 percent, and that's all this is happening. All that's going on right here. So to calculate this, right, you're going to multiply by 1.03 over and over again each year. So here, if looking, I think they're asking for four years. Yes, you do 2,500 times 1.03 the first year. You would get a number. And multiply that by 1.03. Multiply that by 1.03. And multiply that by 1.03, and you know obviously this would be really annoying if you do it a hundred times. But the quick way is just to go 2,500 times 1.03 to the power of years, or the power will equal the number of years or periods at which your interest is compounding. So if it's compounding every year and four years are passing, it's compounding four times, or to the fourth power. And you know you can model this quickly on the graphing calculator with 2,000. 500 times 1.03 to the fourth power, and that you would have $2,813.77. But they want the formula, right? And here they're representing the formula choice two. It's 2,500 times 1 plus 0.3, which is 1.03 to the fourth power.